Mirasonyx, also known as the American Cheetah, was an extinct cat that lived in North America during the Pleistocene. It is well known for being very similar to modern cheetahs, in terms of appearance and lifestyle. It is thought to have a similar ecological niche, although this is now debated by many paleontologists. This genus of cats existed for about 2.5 million years, and disappeared as recently as 16,000 years ago. The genus was originally known from bone fragments, but almost full skeletons have been recovered from natural trap caves in northern Wyoming. The American paleontologist, Edward Drinker Cope, originally considered this animal to be related to hyenas. He then described the animal as Cocuta inexpecta in 1895. Four years later, Cope reclassified it as a type of feline after more fossils were described, but he considered the animal to be closely related to the snow leopard. More recent studies suggest this animal to be more closely related to the puma, but is placed in its own genus, Morassinonyx. The genus is placed within the puma lineage, which includes cats like the mountain lion, cheetah and jaguar wundi. The genus, Morassinonyx, is believed to have evolved from puma-like ancestors. However, it is not known exactly where their ancestors originated. Some authors suggest that they may have first evolved in Eurasia. Two species of Morassinonyx or American cheetah are known. Morassinonyx trumani, the American steppe cheetah, and Morassinonyx inexpecticus, the American mountain cheetah. The former was convergently similar to African cheetahs. It had relatively long limbs and was specialized in chasing down prey in open habitats. The American mountain cheetah, on the other hand, was more similar in lifestyle to mountain lions, preferring mountain habitats and was a specialized climber. Unlike true cheetahs, Morassinonyx had fully retractable claws, like most other cats, suggesting that these cats were not as specialized in high speeds, like modern day cheetahs. They were more built for climbing and leaping, although they were still very fast animals. American cheetahs were also much larger than living cheetahs, and more muscular, being more similar in size and weight to North American cougars. Morassinonyx is estimated to weigh an average of 70 kilograms, or 150 pounds and its body measured up to 170 centimeters long. The tail measured around 90 centimeters, and the animal stood a shoulder height of 85 centimeters, or 33 inches tall. Large individuals could weigh over 95 kilograms, or 210 pounds. In appearance, these cats would have looked like a mix between a puma and a cheetah, although they probably still looked unique from both cats, since they belong to a separate genus. The American cheetah is estimated to reach speeds of over 50 miles per hour. Though fast, it was not quite as fast as living cheetahs, due to its retractable claws and slightly stockier build. The top speed is unknown, but some estimates put them up to 80 miles per hour, although this is very unlikely. The American cheetah most likely preyed on animals such as mountain goats, horses, bighorn sheep, and especially pronghorns. It is often assumed that the American cheetah was the reason why pronghorns could run so fast, but this is still debated. Pronghorn antelope, which are more closely related to giraffes, are the fastest land animals in North America today, with a top speed of 55 miles per hour, about 88 kilometers an hour. In other words, they can easily outrun any carnival in North America. More recent research suggested that the pronghorn speed may have been influenced by multiple ecological pressures beyond a single predator, including the dire wolf and the American lion, as well as being adapted to living in open grasslands. Recent fossils from Arizona show that the American cheetahs were highly territorial animals, with evidence of bite marks and scratches being found in some of the bones. M. inexpecticus, or the mountain cheetah, was more similar in build to a cougar than a steppe cheetah, M. trumani, which was built more like a cheetah. Well, duh. Fossil remains of the former species have been found in the Hamilton Cave in West Virginia. These fossil remains suggest that these animals competed with other large cats, such as jaguars and the saber-toothed cat, Smalodon. American cheetahs were likely more aggressive and were better fighters than living cheetahs, which are usually very timid and will run away from other predators. I probably pissed off a lot of cheetah fans. The American cheetah had a wide range throughout North America, with fossils being found from as far south as Mexico and Florida to western Canada. Fossils found in the La Brea Tar Pit in California were initially misclassified as a puma before being reclassified as Morassinonyx. Its wide range meant that it occupied multiple different habitats, 
but mostly stuck to open ones, such as coastal savannas, open woodland, and grasslands. Morassinonyx became extinct along with many of the other North American megafauna, somewhere between 16 to 12,000 years ago. The extinction of the American cheetah is still heavily debated by many authors. It could have been due to competition with humans and other predators, or climatic factors, such as habitat loss and climate change. It was likely a combination of all these factors. Unfortunately, these animals are gone forever. Anyways, I'm gonna end the video here now. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and learned something new today. Like and subscribe if you want to see more. Stay blessed and I'll see you soon.